no idea what's going to happen. <laughs> we have six seats too. We have like tiny baby tanks. <laughs> Alex said, Lige. <laughs> He's got the giant tank. <laughs> you guys were so late. What happened? <laughs> uh, good morning, everybody. Hello. Crispy's here. Hi, Crispy. <laughs> Hi, Crispy. Hi, AP. A little bit, a little bit breezy this morning. A little cloudy, but I mean, it's supposed to be nice out, so uh, we're gonna go for it. <laughs> Thanks, Crispy. You're so cute. <laughs> we missed you guys. Hi. We got so used to diving like every day. That was lame. Bettina. I'm so happy. Hi, London. Hi, Emma. I'm feeling so much better. Um, throat's still interesting. Um, I sound not that great. I miss you so much. <laughs> Aw. Well, we're back. We're back. You saw 500 spotted dolphins. Oh, that must have been magical. Hey, Jacko. Kara will be here next week. We're gonna be meeting her on Oahu. So Kara's actually flying directly in. Thank you so much, Emma. Um, Kara's actually flying directly in from Colorado to Oahu and she's gonna be joining us there for a couple of days and then one day in Maui. And see, it's, it's not super windy. It's just like breezy and cloudy, but we're gonna be underwater, so no big deal. Hi, Amber, we did reschedule the deep dive. So I'm sorry we haven't done a live since Monday, but hello, I was sick for a few days. Uh, throat's still a little raw, but should be totally good to go. Um, I missed you too. So we did reschedule the boat dive day because I think we were gonna have some massive problems. Um, we're gonna be doing that next Wednesday. We could have done it sooner, but we just wanted to give me plenty of time to recuperate that way when we do go on the boat dive we don't have issues with ascending or descending um we are gonna go in the water we're really hoping that it's nice out um surface conditions are interesting a little, a little tiny bit windy um a little cloudy but uh i think we're gonna be totally fine once we get under the waves uh it's good to see you again too jacko um, but yeah, we're going to be doing the deep dive next Wednesday with Pro Divers Maui. Um, I did make a video, but it didn't get a ton of views. So I think a lot of people just thought they missed it. I made a new event for that as well. Look at our tiny baby tanks. That's all they had for us today. Uh, it's a little windy, Kara, but it'll be all right. And then Lige has this like massive beast tank. Um, we had sun in England today. <laughs> sun in England and it's like cloudy here in Hawaii. <laughs> Did my first snorkel two days ago with manatees. Oh my gosh. Uh, we need to live stream that one of these days. They are so stinking cute. Hello, you are on time. Um, we are gearing up right now. We're getting our kids together. We were a little bit late, so you're going to have to watch us kind of get, I know, right? <laughs> uh, you're going to have to actually watch us get ready for this dive. Um, oh, thank you, Tay. Um, so I did want to let everybody know I feel fine. My throat doesn't even hurt. Um, I don't know. It's just been like this for days and days. I don't really have any congestion in my face. That being said, you never know. There could be like lingering blockage that I don't feel. Um, so what we're going to do is we have our tanks and kits. We're going to go out there. We're going to descend. If I feel uncomfortable at all, even a tiny bit, we're not going to do a scuba, but we will do a snorkel with you guys. We have two other divers here. A dorkle. A dorkle. A dorkle. A dorkle. <laughs> uh, we have two other divers, so if we find any interest, anything interesting from the surface, they can they can take you guys down to go take a look at it. But I do think I'll be able to dive today. Everything feels fine. I think I just sound bad, um, but honestly, my my throat's not even swollen, so I think it's just from talking a bunch when I was when I was sick. Um, <laughs> we were at Crystal. I've heard of Crystal River. Oh, that's so awesome. Uh, but either way, we're going to get in the water. We're going to go find some cool stuff. Um, <laughs> yeah, you do have to feel 100% to dive, Jacko. 
Um, we do want to be as safe and careful as possible. Not only do we not want anything bad happening or injuries, uh, but we definitely don't want to be like out of commission for a week or two because we made a dumb decision to push ourselves. So I feel, again, great. I feel ready to get in the water. But like I said, if I feel any kind of pressure, if anything happens as I'm descending, I'm just going to call it for myself and kind of let these guys take over and we'll do, we'll do like a snorkel-esque situation. Um, <laughs> so we're going to be as careful as possible because we do want to dive with you guys all week. My biggest problem we're running into right now is like I'm a mermaid and I need to be in the water. Um, so Sean, are there any sharks during the day? Um, yeah, well it's the ocean. Sharks don't sleep. So they are out day and night swimming around, living their best lives. Crispy, don't you love the new emotes? Um, it's salty. It is their home. So the thing is sharks are nocturnal predators usually. Not so much tiger sharks. Tiger sharks will kind of just get whatever opportunity they can. Uh, we were visiting from Wisconsin yesterday. Oh, so cool. Um, oh, is the water cold or hot? The water's, it's fine. It's probably 76 degrees out there today. <laughs> yeah, we have Lige. <laughs> that was so funny. We have Lijah here today, Bettina here today. And myself, Lija's training on the cord. Somebody just said you have a male with you today. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I'm a male. <laughs> um, we are going in Rena in just a few minutes. Uh, what cool things do you find? So this site in particular, we look for big eels. There's some big eels that hang out here. The other thing we're always looking for is Holly, the Hawksbill sea turtle. She is one of the most endangered animals on the planet, the Hawaiian hawksbill sea turtle. So she hangs out here. We've known her for a couple of years. We do see um, Hawaiian green sea turtles. We also come to this site in particular because there have been a lot of tiger shark sightings. So, I mean, it's kind of just, we always, and we've seen a lot of mantas here. So it's a hit or miss. Um, we usually just kind of spend a lot of time hanging out with you guys and looking at coral. Why don't you take seashells home? Um, so I used to, uh, back when I was a new diver, uh, if they were empty, but as of right now and diving for years and years, and this is what I mean by I learn every day, um, uh, we've kind of learned that the seashells that are in the ocean end up being uh, homes for a lot of the animals, like hermit crabs and fish and worms and different things like that. Hi, Lisa, I am feeling so much better. Um, so, that being said, not only do we not want to take a future home for an animal, but there is a lot of different um, chemical makeup in those shells, specifically like calcium and stuff like that, that eventually will get um, recycled back into the ocean. So the more we're taking out of the ocean, it seems like a little bit, but it can actually end up making a difference because there's so many people on this planet. So let's just uh, leave those shells in there. The shells we do give away are farmed sustainably. Um, so we we like that practice <laughs> you have not missed the dive live we're just starting um got three divers here today just in case i have any issues it is a little bit windy but i mean it still looks nice out there um also you guys i just posted a video about earth day so we are next weekend doing a huge earth day event you guys might have been here for last year's this one's going to be even bigger um was <laughs> so go check out the video and if you can join us join us if you guys live in hawaii if you guys are going to be visiting oahu uh, we would love it if you physically came to that event if not we're going to be live streaming it and we'd also love we would just love to hear what you guys are doing in your neighborhoods um i'm sorry i'm missing so many questions um i actually did go to school for marine biology it's where i met my other dive partner kara but i ended up quitting that and kind of starting all this live streaming. We are going in the water. Um, so dive computers, we have the basic dive computers we are using on our regulators today. Um, but we're also, I'm gonna be using an Apple Watch. Um, what kind, do you even know what kind of dive computer you have? Yeah, it's a Cressy. A Cressy, a Cressy. So they're kind of getting stuff ready, by the way, you guys. I'm just talking to you a bunch. Yeah, so Lige is diving with us, Patina's diving with us 
I'm diving with you guys. Lai's just kind of training on the cord right now. Um, I don't live on Oahu, and my children absolutely love the ocean. Drew, you arrived in time. Uh, we're going to be flying to Oahu for this event. Um, that'll be next weekend. So we're really, really jazzed about it. Pretty good for you. I haven't done with mine yet. Yeah, honestly, so the Apple Watch is working great for me. <laughs> I particularly am in love with it because of the live streams. I don't know how it's going to work for every other diver, but underwater it works great. And I like it for the live streams because it has a gigantic interface on it. So I'm able to kind of show you guys our depth and how long we've been underwater very easily on camera. Uh, Lisa says, hi, Elijah. <laughs> you have a nice voice. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm sick. Or I'm not sick. I was sick. But this is like the remnants of me being sick. So I was congested and I sounded awful for days and days. Now I'm fine, but for some reason my voice is just like refusing to come back to me. Ugh. Um, getting dive certified for me only took about a week. Um, I think if you were like on vacation, you could actually do it in just a few days. Um, Sam. Do the online part first. Yeah, do the online part first. We are in Hawaii, Sam. We are in Maui and we're gonna get you guys underwater today is the plan. Um, this is an interesting site we do. We are getting ready to go in. Um, we are not done. <laughs> uh, thank you, Jesus loves you too. Uh, so this is a hit or miss site. We're usually gonna spend a lot of time kind of looking at coral or a whole bunch of stuff is gonna happen. We never know. There's manta rays and turtles and sharks but it's like a rare occurrence. So we never know what's gonna happen here at this site. Um, this is the ocean. It's an interesting looking day. It looks a little gloomy, so hopefully it looks nice underwater. Uh, we have totally seen dolphins, Megan. We're really hoping to get you guys to the big island because if we go to the big island, um, I usually bump, dolphins will usually come like over and check us out and stuff when we're over there. I lived in Oahu for four years. You are crazy, Sam. That is such a big city. Now I'm like, oh man, big cities scare me. <laughs> so, oh, hi, Kara. How do you live stream underwater? Definitely one of our most common questions. So I'm holding an iPhone right now. Uh, you can see we have our scuba kits here. Uh, we are in Hawaii. This is the essential thing we need for live streaming underwater, you guys. This is our buoy. And on this, we have our internet. Internet is in here. Um, we have a cord right over here that connects into this bag into our internet. And then the other end of the cord right over here runs to my phone underwater. And we actually have an underwater case. And then the other end of the cord right over here runs to my phone underwater. And we actually have an underwater case. Look at our first pin video. There's a lot of good imagery on there. And um, it's just a good little description that tells you guys how we how we go about doing this live stream event. Thank you so much, Regina. Um, I'm sorry, guys, we were running a little bit late, so we did start this close on time, but we hadn't set up our gear yet, so I'm just kind of talking to you guys. Um, Kara is coming to Hawaii. Oh, your hubby was in the military. <laughs> um, yeah, Kara is coming to Hawaii, so she will be here next week. She's gonna be doing the Earth Day event with us. Um, so she is going to be on Oahu with us and then she'll be on Maui with us for a day or so to do some diving in Maui and we miss our Kara. We cannot wait to see her. Hi, Minnie. Thank you so much. Uh, hugs from Hawaii. So right now we're just setting up. Usually we do this part off camera, um, but not today. So right B. B hates me right now. I made us late because I was working on a video. <laughs> I was like, no more saying we got 10 minutes. <laughs> so I was, I was working on a video. <laughs> um, I'm feeling fine, Katie. My throat's uh, raspy, but other than being raspy, I feel pretty good. Um, yeah, <laughs> everyone, <laughs> new diver. Yeah, this is Lyde. She actually just got dive certified. Um, and then Bettina and myself. Um, so Lai is just kind of fun because he's really new to the ocean. So you get to kind of 
experience what it's like for a brand new diver in the water. <laughs> um, I know we haven't been on for, oh my gosh, at least two days. I was pretty sick. I wasn't actually that sick. I was just congested. So we were unable to do dives and it's really difficult for me to make content videos because I had like no voice. <laughs> so I know everyone's always like, what time is it for you? I have no idea. Let me find my watch. 9.30ish. 9.40. I'll find my watch and find out. Um, we live in Hawaii. Um, I've actually lived here like pretty much my whole life. I lived here as a kid. Um, I moved to New Hampshire for high school and then I kind of just moved right back out here and I've been out here my whole adult life. So a very long time. Oh, thank you. I'm actually feeling fine. <laughs> I feel really good. It's, I don't know what's going on with the voice, but I hope maybe you guys like it. I don't know. Maybe I should make some content videos with this voice. I've gotten a couple of compliments on it so far. 9.50 Hawaii time. Thank you so much, Crispy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I lived um, on Lake Winnipesaukee, Brittany, <laughs> um, for four or five, five years or something for a while. But I went to Honolulu. Honolulu is so busy. Voice of an angel. <laughs> we are getting ready to dive. We are getting ready to go out. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I lived in Wolfboro, <laughs> Wolfboro, New Hampshire. I go back like every five or six years to visit. <laughs> it's really pretty. Um, so underwater today, uh, we aren't sure. So we're probably going to be down for about an hour. We have really tiny baby tanks today. That's all they really had. Um, <laughs> it does look, it is cold. It does look cold. It is. Um, I only really get nervous before a dive if I think the conditions aren't going to be great. Um, I'm very weary of the ocean. Um, so I've just seen how quickly the ocean can change. It can go from being like, okay, or pretty nice to super angry and very dangerous ability, all of that. Um, but for the most part, we're really comfortable in it. I know we're really comfortable with all the animals in the water. Um, Again, very respectful and knowledgeable and aware of what these animals can do, but we're very comfortable with them. 9.52. Um, I think it is easier to rent tanks. Um, getting the compressor to fill your tanks with air is quite expensive and the maintenance on that is nuts. And I am no mechanic. So no, we're not living in Mexico. We're in Hawaii. Um, hi, Hannah. I'm feeling so much better. I feel great actually. Um, I'm really excited to just like get down and dive. Um, we are going to be live underwater. Um, show us the beach. <laughs> Hello from the UK. It should not be cold underwater. I know it looks cold up here, but the water should be about 76 degrees today. And we have, um, wetsuits. Um, where are you going to be doing your deep dives and have you been scared of sharks? Um, <laughs> so our deep dives are going to be at Molokini Crater. Uh, it's going to be next Wednesday. I'm so sorry we had to reschedule that. And that will be between 100 and 120 feet. And then we're going to be doing the St. Anthony Shipwreck, which will be about 80 feet, 85 feet in depth. Um, yeah, let me get all these electronics together. Okay. You're going to talk to everybody? Sure. All right, switch in camera people. Uh, what's your favorite sea animal, Brittany? Whales. Whales. Eddie whale, but I love like <laughs> the whales. The whales are pretty cool. I like the sharks and the octopus. What's your favorite one, Lige? Oh, yeah, we are what's sure, but it looks animal? nice. Uh, the eels are pretty cool. <laughs> the eels are pretty cool, he said. Hi, Crispy. I'm still figuring it out. <laughs> snorkeled off of Molokini in October. Dude, Molokini is great. That's really nice. I'm really excited to go out. I haven't been on a boat dive in forever. <laughs> I just like, I'm still just trying to get not scared of the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Eels kind of freaked me out for a long time. I, I don't like snakes though. So they, okay. they're like sea like, snakes That's the one thing Lige just seemed like super cool with this whole time. He <laughs> likes the eels. <laughs> oh man. 
What's your favorite Hawaiian beach? Ooh. I like Big Beach. That's my favorite. It's my my spot. My kids pretty much grew up there. I really like it. Can't no, it's really like, not really a diving beach, but my kids like being on top of the water more, oh, than, more so than under. But you said Big Beach was a diving beach. No. No. Did you see the tiger shark everyone's been seeing on the yachting I saw that there was one, I didn't see. Yeah, it's been like five divers have seen. It's really far offshore though, and it's been never been seen. Well, oh, maybe when we go on that boat dive, we'll see it. What? <laughs> Not getting any no notifications to say you're diving. Oh, oh, that's weird. I don't know why some people are getting notifications and some people aren't. But. <laughs> We're very excited. We're getting ready to go out on the South Shore of Maui today. We're gonna get you guys underwater here in just a couple minutes. Kids are all set up, just getting wetsuits on. Yeah. Admire people who can scuba dive. I'm... With our tiny baby tanks. Yeah, we have little tanks today, so we'll see. We are going out now. We're gonna go out in just a minute. So, oh, did you just go gotta. Um, so yeah, we're just finishing up getting all our stuffs on, our sausage casings, <laughs> as we call them. I'm like excited to get my wetsuit on. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to get you guys out here in just a minute. Looks pretty nice today. Supposed to be supposed to be really nice underwater. Oh, uh, yeah! If you guys haven't, um, we have an event for set up for Earth Day coming up. Um, we're flying to Oahu. Uh, we're gonna meet our other friend Kara there, and um, we're gonna do a live cleanup dive, like a huge one. It's one of the biggest ones in the state, um, and. Yeah, if you guys are visiting Oahu or if you live on Oahu, swing by Magic Island. We would love to meet you. And if you want to help out with Earth Day, that would be super cool, whether you're diving or not. I turned it on. It's in there. No, you didn't. Um, hi, Jacko. My pirate partner's good. <laughs> uh, already signed up for Earth Day. Yeah. Hey, Kara. We We're see so you in like a week. <laughs> so excited. Um, we are diving today, guys. We are getting ready right now. We got our kits all set up, getting our wetsuits on. We are so close. Uh, when did you guys start diving? Brittany and I both got certified in 2020 uh, over COVID. I'm in a and Lige <laughs> is like one of our... One of our newest, newest <laughs> dab buddies. Uh, he's training on the on the cord so that we can have you know alternate people. Um, so he just got certified very recently. So um, you are early before we go in the water. We're getting ready to go out right we're, uh, now. Taking forever. Yeah, we're just late as eyes. as per usual. So we're gonna work on that. <laughs> Me. It's, it's me. I'm perpetually, I'm perpetually early. <laughs> like it's all easy. And it drives me bonkers. <laughs> I'm on my couch drinking my coffee. Like I'm just gonna edit this video. <laughs> Brittany's feeling way better. Her voice is still, but uh, no, sinuses, sinuses. She said are feeling way better. So we're very excited about that. Can't dive if we're sick. No fun. Do not dive if you're sick. Yes. Please. Uh, not only is it like dangerous, I mean, it's really just dangerous, but like it could be dangerous for everybody. You can actually get really injured. And a lot of people don't take that into full like account. So <laughs> it's like. Yeah, it's not great for like you. It's kind of crappy for dive, but dive buddies if, you know, <laughs> yeah. you're putting them in the situation where they're having to save you. Not All cool. Dives, her costume is nice. Your swimsuit. 
<laughs> it is a cool swimsuit. We like whale sharks. I've still been looking for handmade by Heather did not make this. I know, I saw I saw something yeah. about that. Hmm. Still looking for the person who made the swimsuit. We are best friends. We've been best friends for a long time. She's my Hanai sister. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we've uh we've been Did you use this? Hanging out for Hang out for like 13 or 14 years. Yeah. So, super fun. Right there. I'm still uh, okay. Yeah, I need to braid mine too, actually. Ooh, sorry, we gotta braid our hair. I'm glad I'm feeling better too. I love you guys. I'm in a hurry to see her diving. I know the day we're taking forever. I lost my brother lobster diving, but not because he was sick. His mask took in water. I mean, you just lost him for like a second. Um, amazing. I love that you both have such a good vibe. Oh, thank you so much, Carla. You did not miss it, Sarah. We're just starting. Hello, Bettina's braiding my hair. I need it braided for that calm mask. You did not miss it. We're going in the water. Elijah's suited up. We're almost suited up. We're taking forever. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that makes me so happy, Tiara. Oh, I love it when uh, you guys have your kids watch with us. Um, we do, his friend saved his life. Yeah, no, the, oh man. You have to be so careful on these dives, you guys. Um, thank you so much, Lauren. <laughs> you don't get scared, right? Uh, not of the animals. <laughs> Why, do you get scared? The big things. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much. Aloha from the UK. Heather's on. on and we're going to uh, get you in the underwater case. I'm actually going to hand you off to Lies. You did not miss it, Haley. We missed you too. Um, I mean, good diving weather is ocean dependent, you guys. So as long as it's nice underwater, it's good. One thing we do not recommend is diving when it's raining here in Hawaii. It could be different everywhere else in the world. Problem with here in Hawaii is our top soils really loose. So that being said, if it's raining, there's a lot of runoff going into the water. We do not recommend getting in the water when it's murky and there's runoff like that. That is a shark attractant. And while sharks are generally not just gonna attack people, you never wanna put yourself in a situation where the shark can't see you and could do something. So we do not dive you when it's raining. We look like tasty seals. Like you could be taller. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta zip this up when you have a second. Okay. Tasty seal. <laughs> oh, wait. I I'm can just, just here. Take the phone back and you can zip me up. Oh, yeah, I'm just standing here, like, <laughs> let's do this. We're so ready. I'm getting zipped up, you guys, in my sausage casing. Uh, yeah, we're at um, South Maui today. Woo! I'm gonna test it out here and see how it is. Oh, that makes me so happy, Kim. It's, it's really cool seeing you guys from like all over the world. Um, hi, Haley. I'm feeling really good. I'm actually like so excited to get in the water. No, I think we're gonna go on a scuba, you guys. I think. No, we're good. <laughs> we are going to go on a scuba. Um, I'm feeling good, Daisy. Uh oh, I kicked a rock. <laughs> um hi from pennsylvania aloha everybody so we're going right now actually i'm gonna get you guys in our underwater case nah i leave it open um, i'm gonna get you guys in our underwater case um i'm gonna have you hold this okay. netherlands california you guys are from all over so let me steal this ireland there's gonna be some really not good sounds and i am so sorry about that but we got to get you waterproofed Michigan, Green Bay. I lived in Wisconsin for a year. It was very cold. It's really pretty. Um. <laughs> oh no, my. 
Uh, can you hear me now? I know I'm gonna sound a little muffled and that's because you guys are in an underwater case. We kind of got to scream at you so you can hear me. Clean the camera. Uh-oh. Uh, might need to wipe the camera. I think it's better once it gets underwater. Does it? I hope I didn't. Do you see? You gotta look at it. Do you see fingerprints like oh, no. on the actual iPhone? It might be on the actual. Darn it! It's much better. Okay, much better. Okay, cool. And it'll be better when we're underwater. There might just be some residue from our fingerprints on the screen, but that'll go away. The water and salt will wash it off. Yay! It's clean. Okay. I'm like, um, so. I'm sorry if you can't hear us, we're muffled. You either got to turn your volume off or just enjoy the scenery. Um, we're going to put the cord on. And I just can get his kit. <laughs> Please is really hard to type out, Emma. <laughs> She's like, people need to say please sometimes. <laughs> uh, it is better with headphones. Please. <laughs> Uh, yeah, of course. We're so excited. Why did you want to pray before we go in? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Back there, right? Oh, that'd be cute. Where's that? <laughs> oh, no, somebody just asked. Um, there are still some whales, not many, you guys. They leave kind of in a hurry, but they'll be back in a couple months, and we're going to be ready for them. I'm going to get us a kayak for next season because I did not like not having a kayak this season. Um, all right. On cord there's going to be some again not good sounds coming from our thing right now we are in a different location we're going in so let us get the cord connected i'm sorry That's good, that's good. Yeah, we're south side. All right, let's get our kits on. Um, you ready? Yeah. Me, uh, we'll just hand the phone to Elijah real quick. Okay. And uh, I'll get my kit on. I'm so excited for this. For the deep. Oh, I'm excited for the deep dives, you guys. That'll be next Wednesday. I'm so sorry we had to reschedule that. We're ready. I'm ready, too. And normally, you guys don't spend the whole time getting ready with us like this. So this is how long it takes us to get ready for a dive. By the way, normally we start these live streams when we've already set ready. everything up and when we're pretty much ready. Okay, so <laughs> thank you. Of course, we'll stay safe. Um, we did add it to the events already, Hope. We're on the okay. south side of Maui. Um, I'm going to hug that. I'm going to get her on. I'm going to get her comms mask all hooked up to her kit. And then... Elijah's going to get his kit on, and then I'm going to do me. <laughs> Elijah's yeah. our new new dive partner. He's going to, he's going to kind of, he's training on the cord today. Um, so I'm going to kind of just watch and, and hang out. And make sure everything's going good. Um, they are heavy. They're about 100 pounds a piece. Not today. Uh, they're a little bit lighter today. We have smaller <laughs> tanks today. I mean, so. it's like 5 or 10 pounds, but still that 5 or 10, 10 pounds is a big difference. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, it can definitely hear. Uh, Liz, you don't want to. Here, hold on. Let me, sh let me show you something. <laughs> here. Yeah. There you go. That. You're okay. You're okay. It's just extra <laughs> so lay we're ready Del. all right we're just getting these on <laughs> we are going out <laughs> i'm excited though hopefully we can hear some whales still i haven't seen any this morning which makes my heart sad <laughs> yeah the guy's new he actually uh just got certified so he's been really good at diving but uh he's still pretty new and he is new to the ocean in general so uh be gentle with him <laughs> these dives are the best we love them too 
I mean, obviously. <laughs> it's like, wait. <laughs> uh, Laj and I met playing video games. Now he's friends with Bettina. <laughs> We're going right now. Yeah. I got my watch on. I'm so ready. No way, video games. <laughs> Why do you go out at night? Um, this is awesome. This is awesome. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's pretty. Um, I don't feel any chest pain. Um, any pointers for. Oh, I'm missing so many comments. <laughs> Today's going to be a short dive, you guys. I'm so sorry. I'm like, the comments were going a little too fast for me. Today's going to be a short dive. Um, we probably will only be underwater 60 ish, maybe 70 minutes if we're lucky. Um, it's because look at that tiny tank. We don't usually dive with 63s. <laughs> usually dive with 80s. My thalassophobia can never. Um, that's why we're here for you. Um, here's my mask, you guys, which needs to be wiped. Uh-oh. Um, this is my full face communication mask. Um, that's how I'm able to talk to you guys. Aloha Island Life. Yes, sir. <laughs> um, I, just gotta, I think we're just locking up the car and we're going. <laughs> pointers for someone uh, I keep missing that I'm so, sorry so we have a cord on the back of our case and if the comments don't sit up for a while it's really hard for me to not read all the comments but any comments that are longer than like four or five words because I have to move that cord we don't know how the currents are today but we're gonna find out ready Lish? <laughs> um and you still do normal air. Yeah, so my tanks are the same as everybody else's. The only thing difference with this is there's nothing in my mouth. So I am able to talk to you guys. I don't have, you wanna, oh, Lige, you wanna put your um, respirator, regulator in your mouth? Respirator? What is <laughs> So I don't have that going on in my mouth, you guys. I have a free, free mouth to be able to talk with you guys. Um, I don't use any more air, um, cause I'm good on my air. <laughs> than everybody else um and yeah the gear is a lot heavier when coming back in so it's wet at that point all right are we good oh i gotta get my mask connected Thank you guys. We're so excited. We haven't been in the water um, in a while. I do wear my sunglasses out into the water because we've we been have... in the water in two whole days, guys. It's been two days. Um, thank you. Melissa's like your sunglasses. Yeah. Um, oh, give me my face. Okay. You do. <laughs> Don't carry all that. All right. Actually, Lysh. Yeah. Yeah, my hair's on. I usually 
check it. Tina sets up the kids. <laughs> so, do our little safety check. Yeah, you gotta put air in your BCD though. It's in? Okay. Air in your kit? Sweet. <laughs> Tina's like, I will check. Uh, I don't think it's rough. This should be pretty nice. We'll find out in a minute. <laughs> We're going in. <laughs> The water, whoop, it is a little choppy. I gotta get my mask underwater. Oh. Yeah, there's a rock here. Yeah, it's low tide. So be careful. <laughs> oh, okay, there I go, I fell. And we're floating, like a turtle. <laughs> Oh, okay. Ocean, take me out to sea, please. I don't want to go back to shore. Stop it. <laughs> um, oh, it's a low tide, so there's some rocks formations. Oh, the formations right here on shore that are a little hard to get over <laughs> when it's low tide. My anxiety would kill me to go. Boy, I didn't see the username. But man, I have like the worst anxiety and honestly being underwater is like <laughs> the best. <laughs> I love it. Woohoo! Sorry, I'm like on the cusp of not being able to walk and being able to walk. Yeah. <laughs> and I just fell into this is a ledge. <laughs> Woo! Uh, we should be under in the next five minutes. Five minutes. I can put you under now. How's that looking? Woo! <laughs> You didn't miss it, Lyric. We're just starting. Still clear. Woo! Is it clear? Hi. Oh man, I'm so excited. <sighs> okay, I need uh, to get my fins on. Yeah. To get my fins on. Yeah. I don't know if we are. Yep. Um, hold on. <laughs> I said, we gotta connect to the internet. Um, I think it's connected. I think it's good. All right. Is it working, you guys? I forgot to connect to the internet before we came out, so. I can't see. That's better. Okay, cool. guys on a dive. It's really pretty today. Really excited. <laughs> Underwater. Underwater is pretty. I think above the water. Yeah, the water is kind of great. Nice. This is a fun dive. Can I take it? Yep. Oh. All right. Water time should be 76 degrees. I have my little dive watch here so I can show you the temperature. So I can show you the temperature once we get underwater. It's not really going to tell us above the water. Such a good view. It's always a good view when we're kicking out. Get underwater. It's not really going to tell us above the water. Such a good view. It's always a good view when we're kicking out. <laughs> yeah, it is really nice. The water temp uh, this winter has been amazing. So good for the ocean too. Nice cool temps. We are just getting in. We are in South Maui, about to drop. I really wish you sunglasses. sunglasses. Uh, yeah, I do have my sunglasses on. I'll take them off in a second and put them on the buoy. 
reminder but we do carry this buoy with them. I'll take them off in a sack and put them on the buoy thanks for uh, the reminder but we do carry this buoy with us while we're diving so is that a tree or a mountain this is a mountain it's not a mountain it's oh, like, it's like a, big hill. a big hill <laughs> it's time to go in now you guys we're just kicking out you can see our little legs kicking kicking out to deeper water and we're gonna drop in just a minute. Uh, how deep is it here, D? Uh, okay. Right here, yeah. Okay. We just, I want to drop below 10 feet just to make sure everything's yeah. good. It's beautiful. Okay. Woo! It's clear. Probably yeah. All right, the signal's a little choppy right here. It's a stupid hill every time. Yeah. <laughs> with us, guys. It clears up once we get further out a little bit. Let's count. I don't know what we're counting. Um, <laughs> is the internet getting choppy? I honestly think the internet just gets choppy from the waves. I think these bigger waves, like, block the signal. Water, uh, internet can't get through water. So I think when we get a little bit of a swell, so you can see the water. That's why it always gets nicer when we get away from shore. We're over that little sand thing. Oh, we are? Okay. It's his time. Getting better now. Yeah, it's because there's no chop right now. There was a minute ago. Uh, what? Yeah. I was confused. Lige, I'm going to hand you the camera while I get my mask on. Okay. You kind of got to hold it up, okay? Yeah, you don't want it to touch the water. Water, it creates like a weird sound. <laughs> Everybody's masked up. Yeah, those are my three words for the day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
I hear something on and off. I think it's a dolphin, not a whale.
Look at those glowing faces. Little milk and golden tears. Oh, sweet. Oh, it's 
time. <laughs> That's awesome. Welcome everybody. Oh, <laughs> 
to fall out. Thank <sighs> you. 
one underwater for 57 minutes. Oh man, a leg would be so cool. Oh man, uh, no leg. Oh, thank you, love. 
Ryan. I hope you guys got good screenshots. I have to be right over to us. They 
about 650. Oh, you're good. Oh, man. You're great. <laughs> we were underwater an hour and 16 minutes, so good job. An hour and 16. That was almost an 80 minute dive. You could have done a could have done a 90 minute dive. Everyone says Elijah, good job. Thank you guys. <laughs> oh man. That was his first ever um, help help out day with the court on the live stream. Uh, like full 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 time. Alright, so what we gotta do is get this wound back up into the reel so we're not connected. Oh, okay. And then we're gonna clip the reel onto the buoy. Unfortunately, I can't do that. So I'm gonna hold this orange cord while you wind up my end here. Wait, right, don't I gotta get this one on the buoy first? Uh, you gotta get this end wound up. You can't clip it to the buoy. Am I kicking you? Yeah, you're kicking me. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I know we're a little hard to hear, guys. You are in an underwater case. Do you want me to do it? We're on this? Yeah. It doesn't have to be perfect. We could fix yeah. it when we get to shore. It's just so you and I aren't like tied up together yeah. while we're swimming back. Uh, yeah, that was a really great dive. Honestly, like we saw that really big chonker of an eel, lots of chonky starfish. This will help you tie everything together. <laughs> um, and honestly, those shots of Holly are unbeatable. Like, oh my gosh, she came right up to us, like right up to the camera. Uh, I think she liked it when I was talking to her. Um, a lot of people ask if the animals can hear me when I'm underwater, because you guys can hear me. Uh, Cam, we're all done. Beautiful can hear me. Uh, Cam, we're all done. Beautiful as ever. Hi, Mr. Ed. Good. I hope you guys got some good screenshots and screen recordings, um, especially of Holly. Um, but yeah, they can. Um, and I do think that makes us very recognizable when we're out there diving these same dive sites. So I do know that Holly recognizes us. We did bump into her at the beginning. Um, the internet is floating on the river. Um, yeah, Lige has, Lige has the internet. Um, so we did bump into Holly at the beginning, but she was on like a mission. She was swimming away from us. We never want to chase wildlife, you guys or you know obstruct what they're doing so of course when she's swimming in the opposite direction we're gonna you know we're not gonna chase after her let her do her thing on the way back in we bumped into her so we got about i don't know 10 ish feet away and just hung out right there in that one spot she was i don't know if she was like on a mission to eat her food and just didn't care that we were there or if she was like intrigued by the noises we were making i know the chonky stars are so the internet's on our buoy over there. Elijah's getting it all. Chonky stars are. So the internet's on our buoy over there. Elijah's getting it all situated. Um, we're really close to land. We're swimming back in. Um, but we are done after this dive. Oh, we don't chase after animals. <laughs> to stress anything out when we're underwater. Uh, no, it's really shallow here, you guys. That's why I popped back up. We're kicking back in. We're in like four feet, maybe five feet of water. I think it's really hard to scuba dive uh, that shallow. Uh, thank you, feet of water. I think it's really hard to scuba dive uh, that shallow. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah, if you guys got any photos, definitely send them to us on Instagram. We did not see any sharks today. And by the way, you guys, I know I call them chonky stars or chonky, thanks for the follows. Chonky starfish, that's not their name. <laughs> uh, they're, <laughs> uh, they're actually called cushion starfish or pillow starfish. Um, but yeah, no, it's uh, they're not called chonky starfish. It's just what I call them. The internet's on our buoy over there someone's like show me the internet show me the internet our internet's not waterproof and it's wrapped up in a waterproof situation <laughs> Whew. yeah we are going back in um we're kicking back to shore over here if you guys missed it i'm sorry they are chonky i love them so much and we found a whole bunch of them today i was so excited 
Um, Holly's exciting too to see. Uh, thank you, Matt, to see Holly. How'd you do down there, Wedge? Good, good. Leslie, did I send you a link? Can you message me on TikTok? Uh, if you couldn't get into this court, I would very much so like to get you in there. Um, I think we want to go that way. The deep dive is going to be on Wednesday. So we did have that scheduled for uh, yesterday. It's going to be on Wednesday. So we did have that scheduled for uh, yesterday. Unfortunately, I was a little sick for a couple of days and didn't want to risk like ruining the deep dives. So just to be sure I was going to be feeling like top notch, we rescheduled our deep dive for next Wednesday. Um, we do see dolphins. It's not cold. Uh, dolphins really like their deeper water, so we don't really see them like as much on our shore dives. A lot of times when we take you guys out on boats, though, we see dolphins. Ugh. What's wrong? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, stand up. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Candice. I'm really glad I'm feeling better, too. It's wrapped around the thing. I got, I got one foot in, one foot off. <laughs> Uh, no, we're excited for Wednesday, too. We just came back from underwater, you guys. I'm sorry if you missed it. That was a great dive. We were down for about 80 minutes. That rock scared me. <laughs> uh, if you see some animal this shallow, it's usually just going to be a turtle. <laughs> Thanks, Taco. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to do another dive today. Um, we wanted to try and get out and do like a sunset dive or something, but Bettina is probably going to have to work, so <laughs> she doesn't know yet. If she uh, gets um, the night off, then we'll go out for a sunset dive. It's freaking gorgeous. We found Holly. Did you, were you watching? She came like right up to the camera. Like I was sitting there and she just like came right up and we got so many good shots of her. Um, <laughs> um, I do like Uber and writing. Uh, Bettina's a bartender. Next Wednesday, Ashley, the deep dive is going to start at 7.40 a.m. Hawaii time. If Bettina doesn't have to work tonight, we'll take you guys out tonight but we won't know for like another hour. Um, woo. And we're definitely gonna dive with you guys tomorrow morning. So, sorry, I gotta get ooh, all this weight back up to the car. <sighs> Eastern, we're six hours behind the Eastern time. So I think 7.40, 8.40, 7.40, it's like 1.40 p.m. Um, in the afternoon. <sighs> Thank you so much, Matt. Oh. Okay, back to the car. <laughs> yeah, of course. <coughs> uh, thank you guys for diving with us. Sorry, I had to get all this off real quick. Uh, you uh, unhook me. All right. Uh, I just want to get my gear off. I got this. I got this. I got this. Getting everything undone. Oh, good night, Becky. Have a good night. Have a nice sleep. Oh. Um, what were you just talking about? Okay. <laughs> okay. What were you 
I don't, I don't know people were kind of like mentioning stuff and I was like I don't know I don't have any context, no context. <laughs> Yay. Oh, if you're just not joining we are done we might be doing another dive later um, depending on what I find out hi Becky I don't know yet I'm still waiting to find out if I'm working tonight um yeah <laughs> super super cool um yes all right clean the camera uh let's see <laughs> okay yeah we'll just get you out of the case Here, do you turn your takeoff flash? Yeah. Sweet. Um, so yeah, so what happened is Matita was supposed to have tonight off. We did want to get you guys out and do um, like a sunset dive or maybe a night dive if it was nice enough. Uh, the journey did end, Kat. I'm so sorry. Um, so we're definitely for sure diving tomorrow morning. I'll make an event. Um, but one of Bettina's co-workers can't come into work tonight, so she is, she might not be able to come into work tonight, so we don't know. Uh, he or she, she just might have to cover for someone. Um, so we won't know for a little bit. If Bettina does not have to cover for them, then we'll get you guys out on another dive today. Because it is beautiful out. Um, if we can't dive tonight, you guys, we will be diving tomorrow. Uh, morning. Uh, bone broth is good for the evening. I drink so, I've had a lot of bone broth. We need them to come into work. <laughs> uh, so this dive was great. We actually got probably the best shots of Holly, the hot spill we've ever gotten. I'm sorry it's windy, you guys. Um, she was amazing. She came right over to the camera to the point where I actually had to leave her because she was way too close to us. Um... <laughs> Lots of uh, chonky sea stars today, a white mouth moray eel. We did see a funky little uh, sea turtle hiding in the coral. <laughs> yeah, Holly was all about it. I'm sorry, princess, you did miss the dive. And if you guys are new, make sure to uh, give us a follow. I will put an event up for tonight if we are able to dive. So just check back on the page. Um, it's just dependent on whether Bettina has to work tonight or not. But we're definitely going to dive with you guys uh, tomorrow morning. Probably about the same time at about 9.30 in the morning. I got two great pictures of Holly. Today was the day to get good pictures of Holly. Normally she completely ignores us. Like she doesn't mind us there as long as we kind of keep our distance. Uh, she'll just keep eating. She's always eating. But today she was just like, I don't know what happened. Like she came right up to the camera. She was looking right into, uh, to the point where I was distracted. I wasn't making sure I was being a good camera woman. Normally I'm looking at my phone to ensure you guys have like a good shot, but I was very distracted by how close she was. Uh, oh no, Megan, I'm so sorry. It was actually a really good dive. Um, I was telling Lige, one of the reasons we really like this site in particular is there are I mean, there's holly and holly's incredible um but we really love this site because there's a lot of big animals that pass through here so we do get the occasional i've never seen one but a lot of people have seen tiger sharks here um make sure i'm not in anyone's way um and manta rays and stingrays and all different kinds of sharks will swim through but rarely do we get to see them so uh it's really cool when we have that experience with holly thank you so much matt if you guys didn't know the hawaiian hawksbill sea turtle is very endangered there's less than a hundred breedable females left in the wild 
in the Hawaiian Islands. So they're definitely one of the most endemic, endangered animals on the planet. So for us to get to spend time with her like that and get to know her, um, I mean, we're some of the last people that are gonna get to do that in, uh, is our generation. So it's just so incredible. Uh, and to get to experience that with you guys too is uh, just very special. Um, but thank you so much, Matt. We had quite a few of our moderators on today, too. So just make sure you guys show them lots of love. Um, uh, put my cellular signal on. Um, I don't think turtles are inherently dangerous. They do have a lot of defenses. They're very heavy. They're very fast. They have like sharks, sharp spikes. Um, <laughs> On their fins so again we don't want to bother them because they're endangered and that's against the law so we try to you know give them their space but on top of it being against the law they can hurt you if they wanted to <laughs> I'm sorry Wesley you did miss today's dives uh, thank you pug oh. <laughs> thank you guys so much uh, thank you for the work you put in today, Mods. We all saw that one guy. I don't know what that means. I didn't see it. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what happened. I know, there's lies. <laughs> uh, Brianna, we are done uh, with today's dive. I'm so sorry if you guys missed it. Uh, do they know it's against the law to get close to us? <laughs> the turtles? Uh, no. <laughs> but again, like, we'll kind of sit there and not move if they're getting closer and closer. But when they get, like, really close like that, we <coughs> cough. Uh, we do need to move. Um, we don't want to touch her. We don't want her touching us. We have a lot of bacteria on us. We should not really be, like, physically interacting with them, which is what it started to look like she was going to do. So uh, when she got that close, we do back off. No, our mods are amazing. We have the best mods in the world. They really like keep the peace in here, uh, keep everything really positive. They give a lot of great information since they've done a lot of these dives with us. Um, but all around, just really incredible group of people we have on this page with us. Uh, real quick, I wanted to mention, if anybody uh, lives on Oahu, or will be visiting Oahu next week or lives in Hawaii and wants to make a day trip, we are doing the Earth Day cleanup event on Sunday, April 21st. Uh, how long does it take to suit up? Uh, like 30 minutes. Um, so we do want to invite anybody that's in the area or going to be in the area to come do the cleanup with us. You do not need to be dive certified. Um, you can beach clean up, free dive clean up, dive clean up. If you are dive certified and want to scuba, we can uh, help you locate like where to get tanks. Um, and it's a great opportunity to come hang out with us and do something really impactful for the day. Uh, thank you, Ikolu. <laughs> we are going to be with uh, Patty, Aqualung, Nudiewear, a whole bunch of really awesome people that day. There's going to be hundreds and hundreds of people helping for the day. And we are planning... Uh, worldwide one of the biggest cleanups in the world but um, it's just gonna be a really cool community event to clean up an area over in Magic Island with us and uh, take part in something really big to do something together as a community that would take one person a lifetime to do if ever so we'll be able to do a lot of work um, if you guys are able to come, please email us. There's a link in our bio or shoot us a DM on TikTok. Uh, we would love to have you there. If you're unable to make it, we will be live streaming the event. Uh, we'll be interviewing a lot of awesome people. So come ready with questions um, and just hang out. Watch us uh, clean up. We'll be live streaming underwater as we clean up, above the water. We get to meet so many cool people while we're uh, over there in Oahu. We're also going to do some other dives while we're there and other events, um, but all day Sunday. So 8 in the morning to 2 p.m. If you guys are in Oahu, going to be in Oahu, or just want to fly over to Oahu for the day, like we would absolutely love to have you guys. Um, so definitely let us know if that's something you're able to do and join in on. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. 
uh, but more than anything, it's going to be just a really great community event uh, that you can, you know, take part in, say that you helped out, uh, and watch us, like, transform one area in the course of a day. So we are so excited. Um, I fell asleep to your live. That's awesome. Deborah. we'll be live tomorrow about the same time. What? Um, I fell asleep to your live. That's awesome. Debra, we'll be live tomorrow about the same time. What? The hour or so. Uh, party data. Yeah, let your daughter know. Tell her to come hang hour or so. Uh, party data. Yeah, let your daughter know. Tell her to come hang out with us. You did not miss any sharks today, Colin. I'm always hoping. I'm always looking out over that blue, deep blue water once we get out past the reef, hoping like a big old tiger shark will just uh, swim up to us. You guys will know. Like I keep saying, the day it happens, it's going to be like a religious experience. We've been waiting for it for so long. <laughs> um, but yeah, gorgeous dive. Thank you guys so much. Um, again, check out our Earth Day event. Go register for it if you guys can't actually make it to Oahu. Another thing is if you guys are doing any kind of a cleanup event or um, anything like that for Earth Day, also feel free to DM us as well. Um, we're compiling a list of everybody doing Earth Day cleanups at earthday.org. So we can help you get signed up with that and get some recognition for helping out for the day. Um, we try not to get that close and likely for it to impact. I don't know what I missed. <laughs> Um, no, we try not to get too close to the animals. We give them a really, I don't know what animal we're talking about, but all the animals, we do try to keep a really respectful distance. Uh, if animals approach us, generally we'll let them. What we don't let the animals do is we try to do everything in our power not to let them touch us. Um, that being said, we're land animals, they're water animals. We have bacteria and stuff on our bodies that they do not have. So we don't want to be rubbing oils on them or bacteria or anything like that. Not to mention we shouldn't be touching most of the animals in the water. Um, but yeah, that's one of the main reasons. Uh, the other reason is, you know, they're wild animals. There's, there's no need for us to touch them. <laughs> oh, yes, referring to Holly. Yeah, no, we generally see Holly. We'll get a, you know, a 10, 15 foot uh, distance away from her a lot of times she'll kind of come up to us today she was uh very very interested in us i don't know if it was because i was talking or maybe it was the color of the camera uh, but she was very interested in us today to the point where i actually needed to move and leave um <laughs> so that was interesting you have the right to record. Yes, we do. Who is Holly? Holly's our favorite hawksbill sea turtle. Um, you did just miss it. We always feel so blessed to get to spend some time with her. She was chowing down, eating lots of food, living her best little Holly the sea turtle life. Um, we have these guys all, all set, done and ready to go. Thanks for all the follows too, you guys. What a great dive. Um, I'm going to pass this phone off. Uh, it was just a good dive, Lily. Two ocean peeps. Yeah, Amanda, we have cooties. We have cooties. I mean, I also refer it to like, I'm sure a lot of people would, but if you see like a wild raccoon or a possum, like you probably shouldn't go up and pet that. It's the same thing in the water. A lot of the animals, it's not illegal to touch. Like you technically could touch a shark. I do not recommend that. Um, I just, you know, give them their space. And this is why we have such good interactions with the animals. This is why Holly wanted to come up and say hi to us. Why we have Penelope the puffer fish or Spicy Shark that'll come say hi or Marty the Manta. And it's because we're respectful of them. Uh, we are in their house and when we're respectful, they're comfortable around us and they want to come and interact with us in, you know, their own unique ways. Oh, I shouldn't touch a raccoon. Kara! <laughs> I'm like, you guys shouldn't be like touching raccoons and Kara's over here like, oh, I guess I shouldn't be touching raccoons. I'm like, no. <laughs> are cute. Oh my God. <laughs> um, I'm going to pass the phone off though to uh, Batita while I get, hi Tanya, while I get my wetsuit off you guys. And yeah.
get, uh, get undressed. All right. Good job, bud. Have you guys seen the, the yeah. raccoons that like the, you can train them to do things? Yeah. Like they're actually super smart. Uh, you're great on it. So um, we don't go live the same time all the time. Uh, um, like we, we usually do post like events. Um, so you can, um, on our main page, there's like a live event tab. And if you click on them, and if you click on that, then it'll sh pop up all the events we have listed so far. Sometimes we um, add events. Uh, sometimes we have to cancel once in a while because of conditions or... Um, oh, everybody's going off about the raccoons. <laughs> so funny. Um, but yeah, so if you want to for sure know about the, the other events it'll tell you um your time what time we're diving um what time it is in your time zone so you can go register and then you can get uh notified and you can know when we are going live we dive pretty much every day but not always um it it, it will be posted on youtube um if you didn't catch it for this time um i'm gonna do that It'll probably be up by like tomorrow. So, um, yeah, I'm all caught up on YouTube, guys. So, all our past dives are on YouTube now, except for this one. So, you can always catch another one, or you can always catch the replay on that. Um, if you go to our our bio and there's a link tree, there's a link to the YouTube if you need it. There were not any sea puppies today. <laughs> there was a lot of other cool stuff though. Um, we are not on Oahu. We are on Maui right now. We will be on Oahu next week or next weekend for Earth Day. Um, so if you're on Oahu or are visiting Oahu, come help us clean up. You don't have to be dive certified to do that. You can come help on shore. You can just come watch if you want. Um, but yeah, we would love to see you if you guys are on Oahu next weekend. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I should not this. Haven't I learned my lesson? Yeah, okay, we should so not. We will post the dive on YouTube. It does take us a day or two, guys. We've got to download it off TikTok because it was a live stream. After we download it from TikTok, we'll get it posted on YouTube. Um, how was our new dive friend? How'd you do, Lige? All right. <laughs> really how many dives have you been on, Lige? Uh, counting like the three a day for the cert. Yeah. Sure. Um, like ten. <laughs> I was like, it's tenth dive. <laughs> so he's new. He's kind of fun to have on the page because a lot of people we have on the page are. I just saw a whale jump. Are uh, no, well, a lot of people on the page, our followers, don't dive. So they're dealing with like Kara and Bettina, you know, and I, and we're all really experienced divers, really comfortable in the water. There's another whale. Where did all these whales come from? What is this? Um, we're going to be on Magic Island on Oahu. So right, right in Waikiki. Uh, were you nervous at all, Lish? They want to know. Not today. Not today. Been there a few times. <laughs> Once I see a big shark, I'll get nervous. <laughs> um, so. <laughs> Uh, but he was good. Uh, we might dive tonight, but we have to see if Bettina's working. Um, if she's not working, we'll dive. But if uh, she is working, we'll dive tomorrow morning. No sharks today. Um, Faith, if you are over on Oahu, you should totally come hang out with us. We would love that. Any of our followers on Oahu um, or in the, the Hawaii Islands uh, are welcome to come join us. You don't even have to be a diver. Uh, would you bring him out with you for more dives? Are you going to come on more dives, Slash? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's uh, training on our cord system right now. So I will have two divers. We'll have Bettina and Lige. We'll either be able to get more footage or we'll just be able to do more dives is the plan. So we're excited. And I think Bettina had a good time today and not having to worry about the cord. <laughs> <laughs> That's all your air wet. 
Are you going on the weekend? I'd love to come with my family. Faith, we are. Earth Day is going to be on April 21st. It is a Sunday. It is a pledge for Cakey Day. So the whole day and the whole cleanup is focused around kids and children. Uh, I know they're even bringing like mermaids there. Bring the kids. Come, come help and clean up. Um, oh no, I'm sorry, Label. That is not fun. Um, this is my first time on your live. Well, hello. You did. I don't know if you were there for the dive, but hello if you were. <laughs> it was an awesome dive. Um, but Faith, it would be super cool if you could come down. Anybody who lives on Oahu or any of the Hawaiian Islands, Southwest is real cheap right now. Feel free to fly over for the event. Um, so cool. Right? <laughs> come hang out with us through the day. Come clean up the ocean. Come meet some really cool people. We're going to be there all day. You did miss the water part. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Bella missed it, too. And Mama Bear, you guys, oh, I'm man. sorry. Oh, and we were kind of late today starting, so, oof, that stinks. Uh, it was a really good dive, so if you guys missed today's dive, it's definitely one to go check out on YouTube in like a day or two. We'll get it posted for you guys to go watch because it was awesome. I'll post the Holly highlights because she was awesome today. Um, do any turtles or ocean creatures ever run into or bite the cord? Uh, not really. I mean, it's sometimes blue. They, sometimes the turtles will, like run into it. Sometimes, not very often. Like, yeah. So we try to keep it away from them if we can. Like. That's why we bring two divers out. Is uh, the like Bettina's job and Elijah's job today is that cord. So I'm in charge of the camera and talking to you guys and answering questions, being your photographer while we're underwater. Their job is that cord, which is a whole situation. Uh, it's very kind of heavy but it's they're dragging the buoy above us and they're making sure that nothing's getting caught like around me or in coral none of the animals above us or people are getting entangled which is not not what we want um yeah tommy we live in hawaii uh that i saw my eyelids <laughs> i'm glad you got a nap in though manda um but we are gonna get going we still have to go clean off gear and stuff like that we're happy i'm happy i'm feeling better and i'm able to get underwater with you guys um, the buoy doesn't really get like taken away from us, right? But we've got to like work drag harder at dragging yeah, it. You just have to drag it. It's, it's just a little, you have to swim harder. Yeah. It's fun. Um, <laughs> uh, we have seen some nice big sharks, Kayla. Thank you so much, Matt. We are going to do Discord. We'll do our Discord call, you guys. Um, so if you're a subscriber, make sure you're in our Discord. If you're not, shoot me a message here on TikTok. I'll get you that link. Um, after a lot of our dives, we do a voice chat with like Kara and Lige and Bettina and myself and any of our subscribers and moderators who want to pop in and just, you know, listen to us talk about this dive and upcoming dives and stuff like that. You did not miss the deep dive. Spanky, you did not miss the deep dive. I was sick. So I was sick for two days. I could not dive. We rescheduled the deep dive for next Wednesday. We could have done it sooner because Pro Divers was amazing and they offered us almost any day we wanted to go out. But we're gonna wait till next Wednesday, Wednesday to ensure that I'm not sick anymore. Like absolutely well. Oh, there's a turtle right there. Um, I wanna be top shape for that dive because we're going to go quite deep so we rescheduled it for next wednesday we already put an event up so you can go register for that new event and i'm so sorry for any confusion i know a lot of people thought that they had missed it but you did not um we just rescheduled it so uh but we're hoping to get down to like 120 one between 100 and 120 feet with you guys um so that is the plan for wednesday's deep dive i know these guys are over me talking so uh, i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna get going uh you won't get rid of me now <laughs> oh good we don't want to get rid of you um but we're gonna get going you guys if we are able to dive tonight i will make an event and uh we'll get you we'll try to get you guys out tonight if not we'll see you guys tomorrow morning and i will make an event for tomorrow morning right when we end this live um but yeah we're gonna we're gonna get going we're gonna go clean some gear thank you guys so much for coming along on another dive with us Woo, thank you guys. Woo, and we'll see you guys in a little